Today I'm with Angela Veenstra. Angela is the manager of our Agriculture Services Department. Angela supports a number of producers through uh, pest control, weed control, uh, fieldmen, and a number of other issues. So I'm just going to let uh, Angela tell you a little bit about sh what she's been focusing on in 2021. So up until this point of the year, um, we've been predominantly preparing for our uh, programs that run through the growing season, which is well underway here in Sturgeon County. We do a lot of pest surveillance, uh, weed surveillance, vegetation management um, on the operational side of our business. Um, we've also been working very hard to support the Agricultural Service Board, um, which is a council committee. The goal of that board is to enhance and protect the viability of the ag sector in the county, and um, they are an advisory board to council. Angela, why don't you tell us a bit about the 100 Year Farm Family Award? So uh, the 100 Year Farm Family Family Award is a award issued annually to families that have farmed in Sturgeon County for a hundred years or more. Um, this year we act the Agricultural Service Board has approved that the award be provided to one family and then we also have the Excellence in Agriculture Award which recognizes um, either innovation or environmental stewardship and those two things many of our agricultural producers demonstrate in their operations. Several hours have been spent on the Regional Agriculture Master Plan work that's happening at the Edmonton Metro Regional Board and Angela's department has been instrumental in providing a technical context for those conversations and making sure that our uh, farmers' interests are heard at the regional level. So uh, Angela, would you like to share some comments around some of the work that you've been doing on the ramp file? Um, absolutely. So yeah, we are just one of uh, several departments at the county that have been involved in that process to date. So it is a process led by the Edmonton Metropolitan Region Board. And so we have basically been providing the agricultural um, technical input into that. So um, just basically making sure that our local agricultural producers' interests are heard and reflected in that overall plan. There's a lot of great work being done on the environmental and, and responsible land stewardship uh, front. Can you tell us a little bit about the ALICE program that you're working on? The ALICE program, the Alternative Land Use Services Program, it's a Canada-wide program and basically what it does is it provides compensation and support for agricultural producers for the ecological services that are delivered by their land. So um, whether that's um, flood mitigation, pollinator habitat, um, basically ecological systems that they have on their land um, and basically it helps them to either enhance or to protect what they have. So, so to be able to find a way to compensate landowners understanding that even land that isn't in production still needs to be acknowledged for the value that it offers the ecosystem in and around that site and, and beyond. Absolutely, yes, and that's exactly what we're hoping to accomplish with, with Alice. So, It is important that we look through our municipal planning with an agricultural lens, which is why we sought input from the community in our recent Regional Agriculture Master Plan engagement to ensure the protection of agriculture land as part of a regional development strategy. We are also ensuring a balanced urban development with agriculture and industry as part of the Sturgeon Valley area planning. Agribusiness is an important part of our economic development strategy and Council is looking forward to the recommendations from our newly appointed Agribusiness and Agritourism Task Force and gaining a better understanding of how we can best support these industries into the future.